Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the lunchtime stream here on the 17th of January. It is episode number three of our Half-Life 2 playthrough. Been enjoying the game so far. Um, must say though, yesterday's segment where we had to kind of like drive all around the um, different bits and pieces uh, on that raft just kind of seemed a little bit it just got a bit tedious towards the end and i kind of think that bit went on for too long but um that's just personal opinion that's um all that is anyway without further ado welcome along like i said let us jump in to water hazard water hazard Okay, so these guys were uh, in the process of like cleaning all this stuff up, right? That's where we got to. I'm just checking, see if there's anything useful here before I, you know, Foxtrot Oscar, so to speak. That does nothing. What's going on, Paul Ponky? What is going on? Hope you're well. I plan on getting back to Recursed at some point soon as well. I'm freeing up some um, time slots and availabilities on my streaming and recording, so um, expect to see possibly not a stream, but there'll definitely be something over on my YouTube channel real soon of those. Um, Worry about the airboat. The court's gonna look after it for you. Um, on those add-on and extra. DLC kind of packs for a cursed, so uh, yeah, they'll be coming real soon. I hope you're well, there, buddy. Hope the new game is going well as well. So, I think the last time I spoke to you, you said you was working on a new game, so. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there with that hunter chopper on your ass next to impossible. Good news is the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. That was quick. Jeez. Alright, see. So you know the point where I said I'm glad that that boat section was over? Looks like it's not over. There we are. That gun. Heavy weapons. Same hundred choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little irony. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through the evil. this weapon, or suffer greatly on the road ahead. Thank you. Farewell, Dr. Freeman. For freedom! For freedom. Alright, so... Oh shite! I didn't realize like he was gonna be like right there. I seem to be a little bit stuck. Why am I going backwards? Take that.
apologies for that guys. We are back. So I took down the chopper, right? Sweet! Shooting me from. Oh, come on. Yes, I can't. Yeah, okay, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Ammo cache here. All right. Hmm. Suspicious sounds. I must remember as well. Aaron said about to use Q yesterday. Hey, Adam. By the way, what's going on? Welcome along. Oh, so we need to be across the other side. Of course we do. So, how do we get across the other side? Oh. I mean, I guess I could, like, I could run across there, possibly. No, I can't. There's a, there's a wall there. I can't do that. Am I missing a ladder or something? Oh, I could go this way. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. I'm terrible at driving this thing. I think it's because of the, the, the rex. The, I said it before. The reticle thing? Really not my forte. I just found it really hard to like. I Normally, in this sort of situation, I would um, use the mouse to steer. So I think that's why I'm finding it like a little bit tricky. But hey. Excuses, hey. Keep on going. Then back. I thought the reticle went red when I focused on the enemy. The reticle goes red when it can't actually shoot, I guess. Yeah, that makes more sense. I think I'm probably going to need like a bit of a run-up at this. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I am. Let go of the mouse, not. We don't need to touch the mouse right now. There we go. Yeah, this whole kind of thing is a bit... I had my frustrations with it yesterday, actually. Shit, 
go around the fire. Can I go through the fire and the flames? Through the fire and the flames. Loads of like little secretly hidden areas. Shite. This ain't the right way, that's for sure. I guess I gotta go up there, right? I might wreck it. I hate this thing. Got it. Got it. I think I gotta go like in here. That's gonna kill me. Oh, I have to go around there and do a jump up to there. Ha. Huh. Okay. Let's see if I can find some health maybe first. You're glad, jeez. Yeah, definitely something I wouldn't um, fancy doing a lot more of. I'm already kind of getting frustrated. I've done the best part of like an hour over the last two streams like on this boat, so. Oh, there's something here. Excellent. Must be a way to get to there then. Save there. Um Can I at least like walk into here maybe? That's good to know. That is good to know. So how do I get the boat? Oh, I have to go through this container. Ah, okay. There we go. I've got it. Possibly this way.
Oh, shite. Get out of the way of that, man. Okay, so maybe I can... Maybe I need to hit one of the mines that's coming out, maybe. Clearly, like, just like trying to hit it now. It's doing little to nothing. Did it. Get out of the way of the rest of the mines, though. Got our revenge. Um, need some help though. Health, please. All right, so I don't think we're going to go this way. To have a look to see what there is. Nothing hidden on the ship, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. There is some like armor or something here. We'll take that. Alright, so now we'll head on back over to the other side over here. Get rid of some of the barrels, just so we don't do it accidentally run over them, like I probably would. I'd say I'm clumsy or anything, but... Right, so we can't get in here. So let's go... <laughs> well, it's just gone this freaking amazing. I am Gordon Freeman. Alright, maybe that's not the answer then. So is this somewhere I can climb up, maybe? Ooh. 
must be missing somewhere where I can actually climb up. Maybe here, perhaps. Maybe not. There is a way I can go. I suppose I got, I'm assuming I gotta go over here, right? Definitely can't do anything over there. sure I haven't got enough light to do anything like this. Nope, that ain't happening. That doesn't lead us to anywhere. That's a wall. Uh, no, it's okay in the minute. It's all right. I will... Let's have a little look around this area. time. So did I miss something back here, I wonder? Let's go and check out. If I can. I can't. So there is no way back. On the boat, at least. Side of this, maybe.
I hope we've already ascertained that we can't go up there. Can't go up the rock. So that's out of the question. Um, okay. A way to lower this ladder, maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna save just so I don't waste a grenade here, but That's, that's, that's not going to work. Um, okay, so... Um, hmm. Hmm. Can I climb on my boat, maybe? seem to be sliding off that. I'm, I'm at a loss here. I'm at a bit of a loss as to what I'm meant to be doing. How deep the water is. Oh, wait a minute. That's something I never contemplated. Swimming under the grate. Perhaps. Perhaps. Gonna happen. All right, so let's see if I can swim under the gra under the thing. Uh, I cannot. I don't think. There, there is no way to do it. <sighs> All right. Well. The only other thing I can think is that I did miss something over at that gate, uh, all the way over there. Which kind of makes sense, you go up to there, go into there, across there and undo it from there, so...
Maybe just maybe. I am dicking around in completely the wrong area. Can't crouch into that. Ah, oh, there's a freaking ladder. Ah, oh, dear. Delete last 15, 20 minutes of the stream. Holy jeez. Well, at least we figured it out on our own merit. That's one thing, right? That's one thing. Achievement unlocked. We found a ladder. <laughs> Alright, so let's head on over to here. Save there. So I'm guessing gonna want to Hey there's G Man. I see you, G Man. I'm coming for you. I'm a coming for you, G Man. Did he go? Nobody knows. Cool. We done did a puzzle. It wasn't even really a puzzle. Maybe we should go and um, have a look in this building. Maybe. Stopped up to the max. Right, let's go back into our boat. Or not. Wow. That's a serious nose dive. That was a big ass fall, man. Big ass fall. Let's have some cold coffee while we wait. Mm -mm. Black Mesa East. Cool. Ah, 
Uh, excuse me, Gordon, can we, like, get around the boat, please? Thank you. Thank you. Any time now. Any time would be absolutely great. Thank you. Maybe it's just, uh... Maybe there's nothing here as such. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly while well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyder when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. Cool. I'll take you down to Eli right away. Is that just me or was that like a faith plate noise? <laughs> that was weird. We could certainly use the extra help around here. It is, it's a faith plate noise. We've covered a lot of ground the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a post-doc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Oh, good spot. Dr. Freeman, seen that. it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. <laughs> remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. I love the way the vault just, like, pushes me out the way. We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. Earth surrenders. Oh, Gordon, the Vortigaunt said you were here. The just pushed sure me out of the way, man. Jeez. So quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... <laughs> that just really yanks me out of the way. It really frustrates me. Take a look at this, Gordon. It's 
pretty cool. Alex, I thought you were on watch. The Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No. Ooh, tension. It was a calculation tension. error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. Lame. <laughs> so Clearly, you're not a fan, Dr. Alex, Martin. right? She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Why not? Come on. Oh, contaminated. Pretty cool if you like saw some something moving along in the, in the shadows. That'd be pretty cool. Don't go to Raven home. Alrighty then, I will take that pro tip. We don't go there. Not anymore. <clears throat> So, here we are, the scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's no, designed it's okay. for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Can't grab either, can I? Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Woohoo! <laughs> I've already, I've already mastered that, Alex. It's fine. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> All right. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. Uh, Try stacking some things. Grab yeah, I heard you. Your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. You can place objects by moving them into position and hitting the secondary trigger again. All right. Beware of dog. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Good dog. 
Doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, Dog, right, let's score a hoop. You'll need to use a gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw. I swear down I should have caught that. Good catch. Another one dog. Awesome. Go ahead, dog. Throw. Excellent. <laughs> Come on, this got to be something, right? Come on, I get that in there, surely. When I told you dog liked to play fetch, I didn't tell you who'd be fetching, did I? Come on, I can do this. Nice shot. Woohoo! Two points. Throw something bigger. No dog. No, no boy. Down. Put that down. <laughs> what is it, dog? Oh my god, what was that? Scanners. Combine sweeping the area. We've gotta head back to the back. Come on, boy. Let's go. Come on, dog. right here. Good. I want you to... Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through Raven... Dad? Dad! Damn Head for the coast, but don't God, go through Raven home. Get us out of here. Not to go that way. They told me not to go this way, man. Why are you doing this to me?
course, I could have just used the crowbar, but hey. Or maybe not. Oh shit. A dead, dead head crab? I really hope it's dead. I really hope they're dead. Alright. Deep into the depths. We don't go to Raven's home. But we didn't have a choice. So we had to go. It's like a little village town kind of area then. Had some sort of disaster happen to it. It's like a... Okay then. Someone died drawing a pair of jeans. <laughs> Could be. Just like that's somebody who's just, you know. Uh So maybe I should try and do that. Maybe that, that would work a little bit better. He clearly wasn't dead. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like a perfectly normal, natural place to live. Who wouldn't want to live here, hey? Seriously.
Back up. I got a head crap? Yeah, I thought I got a head crap. Fuck me. There we go. Okay. More ravens. Did a bit of a truffle shuffle. All right. of this. Get bent. No more of these things are there. Jeez. I still swear down, these things took, like, inspiration from, um... Um... Uh, Alien. Facehuggers, man. Honestly, what time are we at? Gun them, man. Who said to gravity gun them? All right, well, um, we are about out of time, unfortunately. So, that does mean we need to, um, we need to think about, um, Put the fire out first. Bezzer's Gaming. Bezzer's Gaming. Welcome along. Uh, unfortunately, you join us right at the end of the stream. I'm just about to wrap things up right here. Because, uh, yeah, we are bang out of time. So, tomorrow, we will pick the game up from here. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in today. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. Um, back 1 p.m. GMT tomorrow for some more Half-Life 2 fun. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.